again. Pamela didn't see that. Calibre. For nights you'll remember. Right card with double protection. It works hardest when you need it most. Halifax, we can help you run your day-to-day -day finances smoothly and efficiently with credit cards, cash dispensers, convenient switch payments and Maxim, a check account that can pay you regular interest. Why would you want to be with anyone else? Get a little extra help from the Halifax. If you got a, an area of excellence, you're good at something. You're the best at something. There's some piece of work. He's got the looks. He's got the moves. But has he got the... Paul Newman, Tom Cruise, The Color of Money, next Saturday. Movies are free on ITV. With the totally tropical taste. With the totally tropical taste. Now hear them, the all-time greats on 1548 AM. I've been fostering for 11 years now and I had no qualifications whatsoever when I started fostering. But I really feel that any ordinary mum and dad can foster if they really want to. I always remember one little girl I had, Susan, she was four and a half. She always called me mum practically from the beginning. And I said to her one day, I said, Susan, you know I'm not your real mum, don't you? I'm your foster mum. And she looked at me and she said to me, Oh, no, mum, you're a real mum. I said, What do you mean, darling? And she said, You're always there to pick me up from school. You cook for me. You put me to bed. And you even tell me off when I'm naughty. And I, then I thought, that's what fostering's all about. It's giving these children a home, security and love. If you could be there for a child or young person who needs a foster home, then call 071 284 3939 now.
but it's bound to be a good swimmer. That's it from us tonight. Good night. Good evening. Railway users across the region are demanding major improvements in services in return for huge increases in season ticket prices. David Jennings reports. Peterborough Railway Station this morning and reports of a track problem mean the 808 to King's Cross is running 12 minutes late. The bracing air of Platform 2 is doing little to soothe the anger of London-bound commuters who from Sunday will pay £400 a year more for their annual season ticket. The new asking price, almost £2,400. Many of these commuters moved to Peterborough to escape London house prices. Now the talk on Platform 2 is of whether London jobs remain viable, of having to move to less expensive homes and of sacrificing holidays. I won't be able to do a job that I enjoy, which I can't get locally. Do you really fear you might have to give up your job in London? I might have to. The anger here is reflected across the region. Norwich to London season tickets are going up by more than £450 and there's an increase of well over 150 for those from Cambridge and Northampton. British Rail say these new prices are in line with those paid by people travelling shorter distances to the capital. But assurances of a better service haven't satisfied rail users who complain that too many people have to stand and that there aren't enough trains. Despite the strong feelings, British Rail deny the increases are unfair. Passengers flying from Stansted and Luton face mounting delays on holiday flights this summer. Delays last summer were among the worst of any British airports, according to a survey by the magazine Holiday Witch. But the airports are not to blame. The delays are caused by problems beyond their control. This year, holiday makers face long delays because of industrial action by air traffic controllers in Europe. There's been another raid on a building society in the region, the third in two days. This time a branch of the Halifax Society at Hatfield was robbed by two armed men. A woman customer was struck in the face during the raid. Yesterday, two building society offices in Essex were robbed. A man who called himself the Essex Rapist in order to terrorise women with obscene phone calls and letters has been jailed for three and a half years. Brian Wilde, a 30-year-old bachelor from Whitton near Colchester, kept up his campaign for five years. He was only caught when one victim kept him talking while police traced the call to a phone box in Braintree. The post office today announced plans for a major £5.5 million expansion of its Milton Keynes sorting office. Post office chairman Sir Brian Nicholson says he hopes better working conditions will also help to improve the depot's appalling industrial relations record. Peter Lugg reports. The depot expansion is the post office's response to what has been a boom period for Royal Mail services in and around Milton Keynes. The last five years has seen a volume increase of nearly 70%. Sorting office staff now handle letters at the rate of 4 million a week. The extension will be built alongside the existing depot, doubling its capacity and allowing installation of new automated sorting machinery. It's hoped the building will also improve working conditions. There were nine stoppages at Milton Keynes in 1988, some of them the result of cramped and inadequate facilities. Work on the new building will begin next month and should be completed by the spring of 1990. It's expected to create about 50 new jobs. That's the region's news tonight. A look at the weather now. And tonight will be mostly cloudy, although where any breaks in the cloud develop, some patchy fog and perhaps a touch of frost is likely. Tomorrow will start dull and misty, but some brighter spells are likely by afternoon. On Anglia tomorrow, tales of the unexpected and a passing opportunity for an overconfident assassin. I was in the army for years. Seen a lot of blows killed. Killed some myself. No regret. No remorse. No one's ever done a thing for me. And you're the angel of death, meeting out justice. I just do a job. The smiling assassin who bites off more than he can chew. A passing opportunity. Tales of the Unexpected on Anglia tomorrow at 9.30.
machine I bought you. Because we thought making filter coffee was sometimes a bit of an effort, we made Brook Bond Red Mountain. Red Mountain is freeze-dried to taste fresh and richly roasted. We just got to paint the ceiling. Why don't you take a seat? Can't beat fresh coffee, Lord. Especially when it's served in beautiful cups, Lord. Red Mountain. It's like ground coffee taste without the grind. Presenting Ross Stir Fry. In just six minutes, you can stir fry Chinese chicken, stir fry tandoori prawns, stir fry Japanese beef oriental, new stir fry Caribbean chicken. Imaginatively delicious, exotically different. Ross Stir Fry. This is Inna Vista. The easy-to-fit Austrian blinds you inquired about are now in stock. Yeah, easy for who? Hey, Bessie, dear. Don't go out tomorrow afternoon. There's a Victor Mature film on. Ooh. Answering machines from British Telecom for around £80. Hello? There's something wrong with this machine. Sounded all right to me. Well, in that case... They let you know just who has been trying to get in touch. Hello? Melvin, I just picked up my messages. I phoned you as soon as I could. I didn't call you, Mum. Exactly, Melvin. Exactly. For more information, call us free on 0800 800 848. It's you we answer to. Every day, thousands of jobs are waiting to be filled. In fact, one in three firms predict skill shortages will affect output. That's why the government is investing in employment training and why companies like IBM, Wimpy, Sainsbury's, Pilkington, Ferrant International and ICI are committed to ET. So let's train the workers without jobs to do the jobs without workers. Details phone 0800 24 6000. Prisoner cell block H follows at 11.30. First, the conclusion of our drama, The Two Mrs. Grenvilles. Now, Mr. Berger, I just want to get the facts clear in my mind. Yes. Oh, are you there? Uh, I'm interested in this washing machine. Well, I'm sorry, madam. This one's been reserved. Reserved? Yes, by a Mrs. Jones. She telephoned earlier this morning. Oh, young man. Uh, could I take this one, please? Certainly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I sorry, want George. Hey? I want a... That's reserved. Mrs. Jones has just phoned. That's what I decided. I take it. Sorry, madam. Mrs. Jones reserved this by, by phone. phone. He's here again with his Mrs. Jones. If you want the best of the bargains, now, phone first. Is this also reserved for Mrs. Jones? Uh, no, madam. Would you like it? No, thank you. Not good enough for Mrs. Jones. It's not good enough for me. British Telecom. It's you we answer to. Don't miss the Texas sale at the new Texas Superstore in Saffron Walden. Hundreds of amazing sale offers. Quando 
Excuse. What's yours? Emperor Hirohito of Japan has died. He was 87. An official announcement said he died of cancer shortly after 9 o'clock tonight, our time, and was immediately succeeded by his son, Crown Prince Akihito. Emperor Hirohito was the first member of the Japanese royal family to travel abroad. He was the last surviving ruler who was in power during the Second World War. That's the end of this news flash. Anglia, two new programs for Sunday evening. At 7.45, wish me luck. Behind enemy lines in war-torn France, the battle continues. I said they were taking too many risks. Three of our best men, too. And now, we start looking for the next lot. And at 8.45, a murder mystery for Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot. Prevention of crime is not what policemen are best at. But fortunately for the human race, most of us have our own little policemen up here. Two new series for an entertaining Sunday evening on Anglia. Do you wish you had the know-how to tackle imaginative cooking? Now Pruleaf brings you Confident Cooking, a step-by-step -step guide that grows with your confidence. You should try my Chinese stir-fry New beef casserole Now you're cooking with confidence. Issue one with free binder at your news agent now. This is the listening bank, right? Yes, it is. You gave my older brother a vector account, right? Um, right. Good. Well, I have won a new kind of bank account. You want a vector account? Uh, no. I said I want a new kind of bank account. Well, first, I want a cash card. A cash card? so I can get my money out 24 hours a day. Provided the money's there, you can't spend what you don't have. Oh, yeah, but I also need interest on the account. Interest? And I want to get discounts from shops and stores. Discounts? Let's one see. One see. The new Live Cash account gives you 24-hour cash, interest, and discount vouchers for the cinema, pizzas, shoes, and records. And finally, I'd like a checkbook when I start work. When you start work. Right. Right. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day. And you, matey. Live cash from Midland. The listening bank. Don't miss the Texas sale at the new Texas Superstore in Saffron Walden. Hundreds of amazing sale offers. Made me the car to take us over the road. Made me the train to carry the heavy load. Made me the boat for the water like Noah made the ark. This is a man, man. Tenants Extra. Extra taste, extra flavor. Day and night, something for everyone, kids and mums, dads alike, girls and twirls, water worlds, something for everyone's spot for choice. Restaurants.
Holiday World's brochure now. Call free on 0800 900 950. These people who breed and enjoy dogs say there's dog food and there's pedigree charm. Want to find out what's happening in the movie capital of the world? ...for Ear Rush. Rejoin us then after the break, and together we shall find out who's the greatest. New Oriental from Lynx, the body spray for men that's hard to top. Lynx, because first impressions last. If you find some mustards a little overpowering, Appreciate the subtle flavor of Amora, France's favorite, because it's made with red wine, white wine, and white wine with whole grains. But while you're enjoying Amora, spare a thought for those still going for the hot stuff. Amora mustard. It makes Amora the flavor of food. One company above all stands for British excellence. Soon, you will be able to buy shares in that company. Rolls-Royce. Phone 01 200 3000 for a brochure and prospectus. I aspire with my little eye. Something beginning with S. See? And there is. Oh, I'm not playing. Well, it's nice to get out. Yes, it would be. What? Who wants some oxen? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Slowly. Just kept putting on weight. Slimming magazine. What a relief to find something you can get into. Cough attorney with skills few people actually need. Award winning drama on BBC One. You turn my stomach, do you know that? You put me in a corner. Just keep Harry out of it, especially since you're working for Deacon. There are often times when parties collaborate to achieve a mutually beneficial outcome. You're a real patriot, John. Thank you. Clark could so easily have fielded the ball for our side. I think one fourth is enough. You couldn't check Skinner out in the files for me, could you? I I'm still a police officer. Foxtrot Oscar. Between the Lines, Wednesday the 19th of October on BBC One. In 10 minutes on BBC Two. 
television's most unbelievable chat show, hosted by the utterly charming Alan Partridge. She's gotten right where she wants you, like a child. No memory, no history. Who to trust? Who to love? Who to fear? Tom Berenger, Greta Skaki, Bob Hoskins. You must try and remember what happened. Shattered. In just 20 minutes. The News and Sport, now on BBC One with Peter Sissons and Helen Rollison. Officials investigating the Baltic ferry disaster obtained the first images of the wreck on the seabed. Sonar shows it on its side and upright, but isn't clear enough to prove the bow doors failed. The British survivor arrives home asking why the Estonia's May Day signal wasn't sent sooner. And India's government, with plague cases multiplying, brings in new controls to stop the spread. Officials commencing the investigation into the loss of the ferry Estonia with more than 900 lives have got their first clues from the seabed. The choices facing young people on which subjects to study can be very difficult, and throughout this week on Radio 1, Peter Powell will be presenting a series of regular bulletins to help you decide exam choices in Which Way Now? Details in Radio Times. On 2 Now, Gerald Williams presents a portrait of Lieutenant Colonel Sir Harry Llewellyn, Home from the Hill. Patriots live via satellite from the Superdome in Louisiana, the Super Bowl on four. The weather forecast now for the LWT area. The first part of the night will be dry with long clear periods allowing temperatures to fall to minus five degrees Celsius, 23 Fahrenheit out of the city to around freezing in town. Late in the night the cloud will increase from the west and there may be just a little sleet around dawn, mainly in counties to the west of London. Tomorrow, some areas to the east of London may start dry with some brightness, but cloud and rain or sleet already into western areas will slowly edge across to all parts of the southeast of England. A cold day, temperatures not much above 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, Kenneth Williams, Steve Davis and Oliver Reed get the spitting image treatment. The 1986 Volvo 340 is as tough and reliable as ever. But now it's a saloon as well as a hatchback. And it comes with the option of a new, bigger, 1.7-litre engine. For those who appreciate a little more power. We're sorry to say that nobody has found a way to make a mint that's more refreshing than ours. Are you ready to get closer? Getting ready to let blue to To play shave you, shave you closer. Let's step into the blue. For hundreds of years, the British have been coming to Malaysia. A country they find irresistible. It is the essence of the East, a special place of varied cultures and traditions. A place that has so many new experiences. 
kind of welcome you only give to people you've known a few centuries. A lady from Manchester received quite a shock last year, just three days short of her 52nd birthday. She'd been suffering from osteoarthritis for some time and was told she'd have to undergo a hip replacement operation. Many thousands of these operations are carried out every year, which means many thousands of people can walk easily again. We'll use two sticks now. A remarkable one in four of the operations are done privately. Most people obtain their private medical care through Hooper. Nearly there. Ah, oh, well done. Hooper. Britain feels better for it. Is it genuine? Of course it's genuine. It's Toby. Honest. Good character. Pint you can trust. Can't fake a Toby. And you can't spell Picasso. Trust Toby. Good, honest, bitter. Get more for your money. More out of energy. More for your money. It's energy efficiency year. Phone free for a free information pack. It seems some people still get up at the crack of dawn to fly to Scotland for their early morning meetings. Not for them, the comfort of the intercity mm. sleeper. No kindly steward to wake them at a civilized hour with tea and biscuits. Oh. Ah, well. Perhaps some people just can't go anywhere without flying. With the Scottish executive ticket, the shut-eye beats the shuttle. Are you looking for true love, but haven't found it yet? Maybe the six o'clock show can help. On February the 14th, we'll be bringing you exclusive live coverage of the world's greatest ever blind date. Watch next Friday's six o'clock show to see how you can take part. Big exclusives in the new Bay Crucible. Our Craze Parson in Punch-Up. Our Royal Watcher gets the inside story. Plus the Crucible Crackers in 3D. It's all in the Daily Crucible. The paper with integrity. New comedy, Hot Metal, soon on LWT. So, Leon Bitten has resigned. Or has he? He's such a little liar, you just can't tell. <laughs> no, tail of tail, uh, we we did. Did. Almost got it. In fact, the tail was a lapwing. So, in oh. fact, I'm going to give you five out of the six. And I'm going to turn you, in fact, four and a half out of the six. So even on my shaky maths, you have won by <laughs> half a point. <laughs> At which moment, I think some awards are in order. Tony, would you like to do the honours? <laughs> yeah. Hand out the presentations. Very good. Thanks very much. OK, lads, this is the uh, British Birds magazine, then. Ornithologist of the Year. Thank you. Robert, one for you, one for you, Fiona, and one Thank for you, Tony. And jolly well done. And there's a Great. lot of books as well. Hey. Well, I think it's about time we had a photograph. Come on, Tony, get in a bit, and then we can have a souvenir picture. There's one. Another one. Fiona, smile. Go on. Great. That's super. <laughs> well, next week we'll be looking at wildcats and also show you the mysteries of where insects go in winter. That is all we've got time for this week, so do join us next week. Same time, same place, same day. Till then, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Just Godzilla. Meanwhile, in the Saturday Superstore, they're lined up for the top talent contest and in the studio to show them how it should be done, the Thompson Twins. John Craven goes in among the playthings and finds that dangerous toys are still on sale and with 1984, the year of the butterfly, find out how to help the World Wildlife Fund with their research. Someone who's doing his own research into butterflies is Dougal, who returns next week in The Magic Roundabout. Florence asked him what he was doing. Uh, oh, uh, nothing much, said Dougal. Really, said Florence. Yes, yeah, just plobbing about as usual. You've got a hat on, and it looks like a butterfly hunting hat to me. Shame on you. That's Godzilla tomorrow at 8.35, followed by Saturday Superstore, and starting next week, Monday to Friday at 3.50, The Magic Roundabout. Well, now for more of the school life at Grange Hill. We'll be back at Grange Hill on Tuesday afternoon at ten past five. Now for a quick stroll through Doily Woods with, of course, Willow the Wisp. The summer of that year was gorgeous. Every day seemed better than the last. Here, Ken Aris Geyser came up to me the other day and he said, children in need. And I said, oh, we all? He said, no, dummy. The telephone appeal on BBC One. It's for the kids who don't have big charities to look after them. Raises money for toy libraries, play equipment, you know, the sort of thing that every child should have. So, come along on Friday and help us out a bit. I'll be there, so you better be there too. Or thou will be held to play. In fact, we might come round and rearrange you with a brick. On BBC Two in a moment, there's another look at the lighter side of life with the American comedian Kelly Monteith. One of ourselves, William Trevor's story of a 15-year-old Irish boy on the brink of manhood is in 25 minutes here on BBC One. And now it's nine o'clock and time for the news with Sue Lawley. Sport. Just the main points, and just the main points, the news again. The Northern Ireland Secretary, Mr Pryor, was told by Ulster Unionists today that he should bring back internment for everyone who advocates violence. And after tonight's vote by the West German Bundestag giving the go-ahead to Pershing missile deployment, the United Nations Secretary General has appealed to America and Russia not to break off their disarmament talks. Finally, the Walton sextuplets have been named. In order of seniority, they are Hannah, Lucy, Ruth, Sarah, Kate and Jennifer. And they're all breathing now without needing the help of a ventilator machine. Their father, Mr. Graham Walton, saw the 55 members of the medical team that delivered them. They are absolutely fantastic, he said, from nurse to top doctor. They're all excellent. Well, it was 6-0, wasn't it? That's the news tonight. Good night. <laughs> After the headlines, Robert Mitchum stars in The Big Sleep. The video computer system can't give you all the hair-raising thrills of Centipede. If it can't make learning fun and exciting using characters from Sesame Street. If it can't bring strategy and teamwork into play like real sports football. If it can't do all this and be bought for just $69.99, including a game of Pac-Man free. If it can't, it's not Atari.
Tony and Herbert are both salesmen, so they both spend a lot of time away from the office. But Tony here has a British Telecom radio pager, so he can be contacted immediately. That'll be his office now. All he has to do is pick up the phone. As for Herbert, well, his office may find a way to get in touch with him too. Eventually. With a British Telecom radio pager, you're never out of touch. Retreat! 1066 wasn't a fabulous year to visit Hastings. Well, you have your good years and you have your bad years. Rather like wine. Mind you, Hirondelle wines only have good years. They're not tied to just one vineyard, you see. So they can keep their quality consistently good. They could have taken somebody's eye out. It's always a good year for Hirondelle wines. The Bargain Bucket Bean Feast from Kentucky Fried Chicken boasts a bargain bucket backed by a big bucket of barbecue beans for only $3.99. So why not buzz out and buy one? Amstrad's new VHS video recorder. So beautifully simple. See its superb picture on Amstrad's 14-inch portable, just £169. Or Amstrad's 22-inch TV with super wide sound and remote control. £289. £369 with teletext. At these stores now. Good evening. Just before tonight's film, the Thames News headlines. A Limehouse man, Brian Casey, will appear in court tomorrow following today's police siege in London's Docklands. A minicab office at the West India Docks was barricaded and police were told that gas cylinders and detonators inside may be exploded. Mr Casey, who is in dispute with the dock authority for not paying his rates, was arrested soon after the siege ended. No explosives were found in the building. Hammersmith and Fulham Council tonight agreed to sell the Fulham Court housing estate, but tenants who want to stay say they'll fight the plans. The council say conditions on the estate are so bad they can't afford the repair bills, and they want to rehouse the tenants elsewhere. The tenants say they'll appeal to the Environment Department. A disabled war veteran who's 87 has had his life savings of £10,000 stolen. Arthur Dance had hidden the money in a suitcase. It was taken by a man and two young girls, one only about eight, who called at his home near Reading. Unions and management at Ford's are on a collision course tonight after the rejection of the company's latest pay offer of 7.5%. Workers at Ford's biggest car plant, Dagenham, are being asked if they'll back a strike for a better pay deal. They want about 8%, the figure won recently by Vauxhall workers. A London cab driver is being held in the United States accused of six murders. Ashley Paul goes on trial next month and could face the death sentence. The charges relate to the disappearance of two British families in Los Angeles last year. In March, Peter and Joan Davies went missing. Seven months later, Sol Solomon, his wife and two children also disappeared. Some families living in a Battersea tower block are fighting to stay in their homes despite the risk from asbestos. Wandsworth Council want to rehouse families living in Jay Court so dangerous asbestos inside can be removed. The council say they've got to go. The tenants say they won't unless they're promised they can move back afterwards. Finally, a boy from Mitcham had one of the best possible presents for his fifth birthday today, a new hand. Mitchell Payton was born without a left hand and surgeons have fitted a mechanical one which works on brain impulses but he'll outgrow it, and doctors say that soon they'll have to fit another hand. And Thames weather. Tonight, another sharp frost, down to minus six in places. Tomorrow, bright, but still crisp and cold. The high, four centigrade, that's 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it. We'll have more Thames news for you tomorrow. Now, Robert Mitchum stars in The Big Sleep. Arcade hits in town, home with you, with Parker.
To play Cubert, you'll need really quick thinking and fancy footwork. Super Cobra has you flying on a deadly mission under constant bombardment. Popeye has you tangling with the evil Bluto for the heart of olive oil. With Tutankhamun, you must battle with the terrifying guardians of his tomb. While Frogger has you hopping like crazy to keep alive. Arcade hits, available on most video game systems, but only from Parker. that gave us the world's smallest color television has created this three-inch micro TV. Panasonic, technology that keeps you in the picture. Biting into a hot, buttered mother's pride crumpet is so... Now there's two new special varieties to try, like chicken and vegetable special. Great taste. With lots of crispy croutons and delicious chopped vegetables. And barbecue bacon and tomato special too, with tasty smoky bacon and crunchy croutons. Croutons, tomato. That's special. A fire prevented many readers from getting their daily mail today. We apologize. All today's million pound games numbers will be reprinted in the Daily Mail tomorrow. Something rather interesting is going on right now at your Datsun dealer. We're offering 2% finance on any of the latest Datsun cars with no repayment until February, but the offer must end on December the 5th. So after that, it'll be gone. General, I've got some fantastic gear for you, unbeatable prizes. Oh, Texas Week and Spell. Now, that must have set you back a few digits. No, nah, £24.95. Oh, <laughs> fell off the back of a sleigh, eh? That's the price. Take a look at that colour portable, £159. Half-inched? No, 14-inch, actually. Oh, <laughs> microwave oven. That must have bashed the old money box a bit. The Mullinex, £119.95. Ah. Asda price. Uh, well, hang about, Your Worship. If you're going past Asda, you can drop me off. Oi, Curly, mend the motor, son. Here. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? They say romance is back in style. I say it never went out. The Jardin de Max Factor. The incurably romantic fragrance. Margot, we'll be late for the party. But I'm still making myself beautiful. Very beautiful. How do you do it? With my cami. Kame, a soap. Kame's not just any soap. I love the fabulous French fragrance. Mm. And the way it gives me so much lather. Mm, rich and creamy. Mm -hmm. Helps leave my skin feeling so soft. And beautiful. Hey, hey we'll miss the party. What party? <laughs> Kame, the most alluring thing you can wear in the bath. No two children are alike. But at least now, there's something they'll nearly all agree on. New Crest Plus Gel. It not only looks, but tastes absolutely terrific. Come to think of it, if they carry on like this, the other thing they could have in common is fewer fillings than the previous generation. Crest Plus Gel. A tasty new way to fight tooth decay. <laughs> Do people take most 
most pleasure in these days? Just Brazils. Of course. Black Tower, light, delicious, unforgettable. Just like Davina. <laughs> Diana? Uh, Deborah? Yes, yeah, sir? Want beefy Bovril taste? For goodness sake, give your tribe Bovril. And here's how. Ooh, you bring it. Just for the street. It's fun and it's flip. It don't do more than sip. It's got a bunch, honey bunch. So take it after lunch. It's got an ooh, it's got an ah. Uh. It's the coolest car by far. You can have five and it's slick. And boy, is that quick. Get in, take a drive. That's all it takes to drive. That's it, that's the Nova. The car that's taking over. And you'd better believe it. The JVC lightweight video and camera. He didn't get it. The JVC portable stereo with a rather nifty record deck. He didn't get it. The JVC personal hi-fi with detachable radio. You got it. JVC. You've either got it or you haven't. Come and party tonight with Modern Romance. All their hits on one album or cassette from Bronco. Come back through Christmas past into Christmas present and discover the season of rich delights that awaits you now at Harrods. Electrical shopping you just can't lose at Curry's. There's always lots to choose. You can't buy cheaper, that's what we say. Curry's price promise, there's no better way. Come to Curry's, we're the electrical people where everything clicks. Today I tell this beautiful British lady how to use her new robot chef. Oh, I see she already knows how strong it is for mixing dough. But soon I show her how simple, how quiet, how quick is robot chef. Now a puree. It needs a little French know-how. But she knows how. Your robot chef makes every food fast food. Robot chef is strong, quiet, fast. Simple. Thank you. When you hold a position like mine, nothing can be more unsettling than about a dandruff. Fortunately, thanks to New All Clear, it's a problem I no longer have to live with. <laughs> Clever chaps. They developed an entirely new formula none of the others use. It works so well. There really is nothing to beat it. Now who's a pretty boy? <laughs> New All Clear. Use it regularly. There's nothing to beat it. When my skin feels dry, I use Fenjal Cream Bath. Fenjal's precious oils smooth away dry skin all over my body, leaving it soft and silky to touch, so I can enjoy the luxury of my Fenjal Cream Bath. Fenjal smooths away dry skin. Now, here's tonight's closing program on Thames with the Reverend Dr. Charles Elliott. Nothing makes Christianity so hard to take or difficult to follow as false images of God. To some people, God is a moral tyrant, endlessly imposing unreasonable demands on his people. Few of us can recall the Ten Commandments, but we all remember the words, Thou shalt not, which summon up, don't they, a picture of a God who commands and demands, not a very attractive God. The image of God the moral tyrant is a grotesque distortion of the truth. That means it isn't wholly untrue, but like one of those fairground mirrors, it twists the reality into a shape that is unrecognizable. God does call us forward to discover the best in ourselves and in our world.
Next week, Kishlovsky's tenth and final moral dilemma centers on two brothers who inherit a valuable stamp collection on their father's death. Initially, it brings them closer together, but ultimately drives an irrevocable wedge between them, causing each to denounce the other. The last of the Ten Commandments is next Sunday at five past nine. Chicho Shano Minasan. Saturday night o karibu to you. Sarebi banjo me wa. Drive, James. I am that man. Welcomes you once again to the first financially self-supporting, soon to be privatized, recaffeinated, water purified, lead free television program. A steady diet of sticks, scandal, and violence. Here, yeah, if you will forgive me. As far as I'm concerned, she's a faithless hussy. No. BBC Two no best of Saturday Night Live. Dozo o tanoshimi. There's fast and tough action here on Two in Forty Minutes with tonight's movie drone, an impressive western starring Burt Lancaster and Bruce Davison as an aging scout and young officer, respectively, forced into bloody and violent confrontation with a band of Apache Braves. In the meantime, we take off at speed with a treat for all backseat drivers and armchair racing enthusiasts as Nigel Mansell takes pole position in the French Grand Prix. For today's French Grand Prix, round seven of the World Championship, the teams have returned from the rarefied altitude of Mexico City to the Paul Ricard circuit near Marseille. Pre-90 magazine, the essential 92-page guide to the 1990 championship. Mansell and Prost, the exclusive interview, the world's top drivers, talk tactics. Grand Prix 90 untangles the complex rules and regulations of Formula One and reports on track safety. Fit to drive? Find out how fit you need to be to drive Formula One and meet the voices behind the action as Murray Walker picks out his top 10 drivers of all time. Catch up with all the latest in Formula One and win the hottest hatchback in town in Grand Prix 90 magazine with a free pull-out wall chart. Out now! Make jet lag a thing of the past. We'll be your travelling for you. All the colour in the world with none of the inconvenience. is back on Wednesday. On BBC One in 25 minutes, highlights of one of the most exciting days in the tennis calendar. Boris Becker met Stefan Edberg on centre court this afternoon, knowing that only one of them would carry off the coveted Wimbledon trophy. Here on BBC Two now, tonight's movie drome is a dramatic western that finds the cavalry on collision course for a tough and violent confrontation with Apache Indians. Alzana's raid is introduced by Alex Cox. <laughs> Oh, 
want you to know that's not all is lost. Well, well, it's never lost until you're dead. I mean, I mean, what if all is light is hope, isn't it? I'm English. Now, there's got to be an international law stating you can't hang an Englishman for a crime like this. We're talking about two days, aren't we? Two days to save a human life. My son. Now, I've seen strong men. Tough, you know? They all go crazy. Yeah, we've got to do something now, haven't we? I, I mean, we can't just sit back and let a bunch of wugs hang our boys. Yeah, that means you and all. Just amongst barbarians, that's all. There's nothing we can do about it. Radio Times in full colour with brighter, clearer pages. If you want to know what I do on my days away from the race circuits, it's in this week's Radio Times. Celebrate Proms 90 with a complete guide to this summer's concert. And Warren Beatty sets the scene for the film everyone's talking about. If you want to get into the picture, buy Radio Times. Said that so well. Radio Times, the most colourful way to put yourself in the picture. BBC Two, in about five minutes, will be marking the end of the third and last test against New Zealand, with highlights of the final day's play from Edgbaston. While we on BBC One now head for Provence and the highly charged atmosphere of the Théâtre Antique d'Orange for the 1987 concert by one of the most successful alternative bands of the 80s, The Cure. And on Monday, you can see again some highlights from Clive James's last series, The Best of Saturday Night Clive. That's BBC Two at 9 o'clock on Monday. Hi! Your coat is still alive. And now a female duo needing toughness as well as sensitivity in a case of threatened suicide, Cagney and Lacey. Colin's boss agrees with the idea of a union. The only problem I can see is that um, the union man's going to be very busy interviewing every news agent to negotiate terms. Do you think they're reasonably well paid at the moment? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Other newspaper boys aren't yet quite sure whether they're ready to join a trades union. It's all right, but you don't really need one. Why not? Well, you're all right, is you? I think it's all right, but at the moment, I think I can't get enough of weight. But Colin is being supported by the GMB, which wants national negotiations. They want to negotiate individually if they want any um, increases in the wages or better conditions. 
and that can be very daunting for a youngster. So obviously they thought, well, you know, what is the alternative? And that would be to join the trade union. With up to half a million newspaper boys and girls in the country, Colin Smith's idea could snowball. Flano Glaser, ITN, Burnley. And that's all for now. We're back again at 6.30. I hope you can join us then. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. A very changeable picture across the whole of Britain. It's almost a test to see how many different types of weather I can mention in a minute. That's where the worst of the weather is at the moment. A thick band of cloud and outbreaks of rain across much of Ireland, southern Scotland and northern England too. It's slipping southwards so it'll bring rain into the rest of northern England and northwest Wales as well. On both sides of that band of weather it's brighter. Some sunshine in the south but not a great deal, just one or two light showers as well. In the northwest, well a fair bit of sunshine but quite blustery showers there and fairly windy everywhere. By tomorrow, well most places starting dry, a little bit of sunshine around but as we go through the day tomorrow, so cloud will thicken up yet again into the northwest, bringing more general rain, probably by the evening, I think some of the rain fairly heavier. Quick look at the temperatures for today and tomorrow. Much the same in the south as it has been, 23, 73, 64 in the north, but windy. Here's the summary. Climate and Man, tonight at 10.35 on TBS. Once, the climate dominated mankind. Now we may have started to influence the climate. But could we be pushing it to the brink of catastrophe? Watch part one of Climate and Man, 10.35, tonight on TBS. The subject is steam trains next this afternoon in the story of steam after the break. So, we're interested in Midland Orchard, are we? Yes, please. Monica, the ginger biscuits, if you please. Shortbread? No matter. Now, in layman's terms. Current camp, with interest. Loan, savings. Traditionally separated, now working together. If you choose, a monthly savings sweep. Over here, a pre-arranged loan. One phone call and the money's there. Plus a cash card, plus a credit card. The whole thing free if you stay in credit. And just one simple statement. There. Not too difficult, eh? I see. It's an integrated multi-service concept, isn't it? Hmm. A sort of financial balancing system. Yes. So why is it called Orchard? for a biscuit. Midland Orchard, a beautifully organized bank account in a badly organized world. BP knows the years can take a terrible toll on your car. Stop and go driving, cold starts and intense heat all do their damage. But with the remarkable technology in new BP Visco 2000 Plus motor oil, you can at least protect your engine. Use it and your car can run like a dream. Even if it doesn't look like one. BP, on the move. Ladies, stop shaving and enjoy beautiful hair-free legs for weeks at a time with the Lady Remington Smooth and Silky Cordless Rechargeable Hair Removal System. Lady Remington Smooth and Silky Soft Hygienic Rotating Roller quickly removes hair below the skin at root level. Lady Remington Smooth and Silky. Don't throw away your favorite clothes because they look worn. Wait, save them with the Remington Fuzz Away. It safely removes pills and fuzz. The Remington Fuzz Away. And now, monsieur, as a slice of Bolivian crab with devil truffles and a bit of Tahitian seaweed. Voila. Something to drink, monsieur? Well, I did come here for something to eat, but, uh, strike shreds with ice. Nothing else, sir? Uh... Oh, Julien de Citron and Naturel. What? A slice of lemon? The secret of straight, shh, you know who. How refreshing is simple. Arr! All aboard me, 
parties and play Yo-Ho Bingo in the sun and the news of the world. Yo-Ho Bingo. There's over one million pounds more to win. Win cash on sun full lines. Ha <laughs> ha. Win cash on every sun full out. And shivery timbers. There's over 30,000 pounds to win every game. Hell, oh, that boy calls a treasure chest. Play Britain's biggest free bingo, shipmates, and you'll be hooked. Yo-Ho Bingo. 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 I knew it would be. How have you got to get there? How's the luggage going to get there? How's the luggage going to get there? I don't know. <coughs> but I know a man who does. AA Relay. We're all you need to know. This is very nice of you. He's a very nice You're man. a very nice man. Like You're a very nice man. On TVS tomorrow at 6.30, South Showcase presents It's a Dog's Life and lifts off to exotic locations to explore the fascinating world of dog food commercials. With strong competition for sales, great thought and skill goes into the making of these ads. Veronica Charlwood follows the filming of one well-known commercial that took her to New Zealand where it was shot. She looks at the casting for this mini epic and the work to get the best performances from the cast. Tomorrow on TVS, It's a Dog's Life. In 45 minutes on TVS, you can see the omnibus edition of Coronation Street. First, a little nostalgia with the story of steam. And at ten past one next Sunday, you can see a short story theatre. In the meantime, next this Sunday, it's the Omnibus Coronation Street. Mike Baldwin has been paying fast and loose of late. Is he heading for a fall? Our Channel 4 will be talking to the children of Woodbine Place. The many faces of autumn entertainment on TVS. Hello. You're not still on about this bike, are you? I remember when bikes were bikes. Proper mudguards and a cover for the chain. Look at that saddle. They're like sitting on a razor blade. Maybe next year, eh? Yeah. How'd you get on, love? I think I found one. Great. Ropers. Says they'll keep it till weekend. You better give it the address then. Good old yellow pages. We're not just there for the nasty things in life, like a leaky roof. We can help with the nice things, too. I was right about that saddle, though. from the California vineyards. Tonight on One, the Body Matters Roadshow finds something to get its teeth into when it visits the dental school in Cardiff. I was caught sight of something really horrible over there. Watch as students learn the drill on examining patients and their plaque. Good Lord. It's like Piccadilly Circus down there. Brush up on dental care and fill the gaps in your wisdom. Fluoride, what's fluoride? Fluoride. <laughs> the whole story will be extracted tonight at 7 on 1. The film in half an hour stars Peter Ustinov and Yvonne De Carlo in a Second World War comedy set in North Africa about a hotel manager and his fiancée who change sides every time a new army marches into town. Hotel Sahara at 2.20. 
Before that, on one, in the footsteps of poet John Betjeman, we're travelling the friendly line to Burnham in seaside trains. <laughs> When you turn up at an airport, who knows what you might face? But imagine a service that helped cut through it all. Cut through the crowds, hassles, formalities, so you can check in up to 10 minutes before takeoff. Imagine food on every flight, backup planes, and for frequent business travelers, a card that checks you in and issues your ticket and boarding pass automatically. This is British Airways' new Super Shuttle Executive. Clearing your path from A to B. British Airways, the world's favorite airline. You can't inoculate a child against starvation, but you can inoculate the wheat. We don't actually stick a needle into each seed. That would be ridiculous. At ICI, we coat it, we feed it, and now can even breed resistance into it. World problems, world solutions, world class. Are you ready? Where's your hair? Oh, it's been done. Hair! Quickly, what have I got to say? Right. A, it's called the Sunday Correspondent. B, it's a quality newspaper. C, it's not owned by a press baron. Mm -hmm. And D, it's concise and manageable. Right, okay. And don't worry yourself about E and S, okay? okay here we go. Okay. Auto, Q, goody. The Sunday Correspondent. Tomorrow's Sunday. Money. I'm not working hard enough. Where are you going? I'll show you where. Come on. At Barclays, the money you save goes to work. Millions of people save with Barclays. In fact, we have twice as many savers as borrowers, and more ways to save than you ever thought. If you want your money to do more work, then we believe you're better off saving with Barclays. Italian in you. <laughs> 